Hi, welcome to season two of the Story Bank at Stories at Work, a series where I curate true stories from across the world so that you can use them in business. Since today is a season opener, we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to start with a riddle, and after you answer it, I'll tell you a story. So here is the riddle. The riddle. A father is about to bring his son to a job interview, applying for a position at a large stockbroker's company in the city. Just as they arrive at the company's parking lot, the son's phone rings. He looks at his father, who says, "Go ahead, answer it." The caller is the trading company CEO, who says, "Good luck, son. You've got this." The son ends the call and once again looks at his father, who is still next to him in their car. How is this possible? Now pause the video and answer the riddle. And when you're done, play the video again. He gets a call from the CEO. Uh, but it says, "Good luck, son." But he was next to him. So it's not the father. I think it was probably an audio recording of his father. Maybe he made in a, a demo tape. Like is like he has two fathers. This is a hot one. Maybe it's a word joke. Like it's the grandfather of the son. No, I think his name is Son. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just like an old man, you know, calling a younger guy son. I have no idea. The answer. It's his mother. Ah. Oh, that's oh, that's so stupid. Yes, of course. Ah. Sure. Ah. I should have thought of that. Yes. The CEO is a woman. So I'm I'm biased. Did you have the same bias? If you hadn't heard this riddle. Or a similar riddle earlier, then please write either "got it right" or "didn't get it right" in the comment section below. But please don't give away the answer for people who see this video after you. Well, now let me tell you the story. In 1889. In an archaeological dig in Sweden, a 10th-century warrior's grave was discovered. It had all the accoutrements of a professional soldier, uh, a Viking professional soldier. It had long swords, short swords, knives, bows, arrows, spear, shield. In the same grave was also the remains of two horses: a stallion to charge into battle, and a pack horse. Now during this uh, dig one of the team members said you know this skeleton i think it's of a woman and but they said no 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 it's a viking warrior so it's not a woman this is 1889 then about 80 years later in about 1970 there was a group of scientists who did a bone analysis an osteo analysis of the skeleton and they thought that the evidence was pretty strong that this was a woman But again, the experts said, "No, no, no. You know those stories out of uh, the folklore in Scandinavia of a shield maiden or a female warrior is really a myth." Then, in 2017, a DNA analysis conclusively proved that this was a female warrior. But that didn't stop groups of people saying, "No, that's not right." One group said, "Ah, you know, she had uh, inherited all those things from her husband, the warrior." and then she was buried with all his stuff surprisingly none of her stuff seems to be in the grave so there is no evidence for this theory another group thought that she was buried along with her husband and all the stuff and before the 1889 archaeological dig someone removed the remains of the husband again no evidence of that now that is something that we call confirmation bias because giving up a belief is very hard to do we are usually emotionally attached to it and this bias is fairly unconscious perhaps it is the same bias many of us had when we tried to answer that riddle what a story where in business can you use that story well first you can use that to prove that many a times 
we make assumptions and then cling on to them. Why do we do this? Because you see, belief is nothing but a story in our head. And it is difficult to dislodge a story with data. You can only replace it with a more powerful story. I call it an influence story. You can check out a video on YouTube on our channel, the StoryWorks channel, later on the same subject. The second place that you can use this story is to say that we need to figure out when we have some information, whether it's a data or is it an assumption. And if it's an assumption, be open to changing that assumption when we get fresh pieces of data. We can use that story is when we are talking about unconscious confirmation bias. And many of us have several such biases, biases about gender inequality, about climate change, etc. If you like that story, we have lots more on our YouTube channel. The Leader Speak playlist has stories told by leaders from across the world. The Story Bank playlist has similar stories, curated true stories from across the world. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe because that way you'll get an alert as soon as the videos are released. And we release two videos every week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Take care and stay safe. Stay safe.